All right, well, while it's raining, we're going to uh, continue on. There's no reason to sit and wait out the rain at this point, so we'll go on to the next stop. All right, here's our second stop. We can see the canyon. Really can't see the river from here. Um, <clears throat> and there's a nice lightning storm going on over there. See Max is uh, telling me which way to go. He's a pretty pretty reliable co-pilot. Should we go left? Okay, turn left here or right? How about let's go straight? Well, I thought the rain would stay away and our luck would hold out, but um, it's off and on coming down. So we're gonna start slowly heading back. I uh, wanted to give you one final shot at the canyon. Uh, this was a fourth uh, stop and overlook. And you can see a little bit of the river down there, but uh, the rain's coming down pretty steady. And uh, we are going to start heading back. But there may be some stops along the way, so... Well, I should have listened to my own advice. Uh, the rain is gone, at least for right now. Uh, there are some uh, rain clouds back over this way and back behind us. Um, but we are headed out and what we have in front of us are the Vermilion Cliffs National Monument and uh, I know the GoPro does not do it justice and so I may uh, post up a couple of pictures to go along with it uh, it's just amazing absolutely amazing It's been a great day, found a couple of uh, good camping spots, so we will definitely be back out this way. Uh, Jeep got a little muddy, obviously, with all the rain and mud. Amazing. Well, you know, um, we, we I packed my gear just in case uh, we found an awesome place to camp. I uh, wasn't really planning on it, uh, but we found a really nice place. We're on the way out, so we're not camping out by the, the canyon or anything. Um, but we're on a road at Dead's End right up here at these mountains. Uh, so we're not going to have any other traffic come through here tonight. And uh, just an awesome view, again, of the Vermilion Cliffs over here. And I know you can't see it that well. Uh, the cliffs on the far side of the valley, and that's actually on the other side of the canyon marble canyon the colorado river is down in there and it's amazing you can't even see it it just looks like uh green fields green rolling lands all the way across but um um again hopefully uh the clouds will clear up and and maybe we can get some astrophotography in tonight uh, i didn't bring my good lens with me so i'll have to make do with the lenses i've got um, but also the moon should be coming up fairly soon again we've got some clouds over there so we probably won't see it on the horizon uh, but maybe later on tonight we can get some shots of it 
Uh, and again, hopefully these, uh, these clouds will roll out. Uh, if not, hopefully it'll clear out by morning and maybe we can get a good um, sunrise shot. Uh, we're, we're looking into the sun, so there's really nothing back here that's going to be great. But hopefully it'll light up the Vermilion Cliffs and maybe we can shoot a time lapse of that. But um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish getting camp set up. And um, I've got some uh, food on the grill and we'll get Max some food and... Uh, Start setting up the camera and stuff, take some photos. <clears throat> well, it probably looks like a dot in the sky, but there's the moon. Uh, and I don't know if you can make it out or not, but there's also Jupiter and Saturn. And over to the west, the sun's still going down, but... Uh, I believe that is, it's either Venus or Mars. I'm pretty sure it's Venus, though, because it's not, it doesn't have sort of a reddish tint to it, but I'm sure the GoPro's not picking it up at all. But anyway, sun's going down. The clouds are clearing up. Uh, we're going to have the moon to contend with for a while. It's going to be pretty bright, so uh, I'll probably have to set the alarm for like 3, 3 or 4 a.m. and get up and... Maybe by the end, the moon will have traversed the sky and we can get some pictures of the stars. But anyway, we're going to shut it down here for the night and um, catch y'all in the morning. Good morning. As you can see, we're up to try to catch the sun. Uh, the clouds did break a little bit last night, so I was able to get up and do some uh, astrophotography. It'll be interesting to see how it turns out. I did a time lapse. Uh, the moon set about 4, 4.30ish, and uh, so I got to set the camera up. And uh, Well, there's our sun on the horizon. I know it's probably just a speck. The GoPro lenses don't do it justice for telephoto type work. There's not a sound around. There were some coyotes howling a while ago, but uh, I don't hear them now. <clears throat> right, we're going to get breakfast and pack up and enjoy the sunrise a little bit more, and then we'll be on the road. All right, we have packed up camp, and we are headed out. We've got uh, several hours drive to get home, so uh, we're going to get an early start and let's take our time getting back. Um, we may stop and see a couple of other sites along the way. But it's been a great, great two days, great camp, great spot. Definitely we'll be back. One last look. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and sign out here. We may shoot a little bit more video on the way out, but um, I wanna thank everyone for uh, watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I know we've been a little bit of a hiatus posting videos and stuff, but um, we're going to get back into, try to get back into the routine of things um, and start doing some more adventures. Uh, we did purchase a side-by-side, -side, so we're going to start doing some more adventures in that as well. So, uh, again, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Check out Wonder Off-Road. Uh, grab a shirt, grab a hat, grab stickers, and um, thanks for watching.